Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, tonight, I've got Christian. What's up? Uh, who's <laughs> playing in the background? Uh, I've got Anna. Hello. And then uh, we also have special guest Rob again. Hi. So, that Venn diagram of stuff that Rob collects and stuff that I collect is, is somehow overlapping temporarily here. Star we'll enjoy a lot less. Yeah. And the stuff you collect and stuff I collect is overlapping for once. That's pretty rare these days. Yeah, that is true. And the stuff I collect and the stuff Lucas collects remains the same. <laughs> it does remain the same. Pretty we need much. more variety up in this house. Um... Yeah, so I don't know if you guys saw, but apparently the uh, the Netflix figures are hitting Walmart's now. I guess that's very exciting for the current environment. I saw, we yeah, to go to Walmart. Canada. Is that here? No, here. Uh, I think Kilby mm -hmm. actually, when he went out shopping for his, you know, necessities or whatever. That dude, Kilby it. lives near me. I could go tomorrow and hunt. So. So there, uh, yeah. I wish there was a way to tell whether or not it's actually in stock, because like I don't actually want to go to the store unless I know, like, because I've I've been going to the store maybe like what, like once a week or once every two weeks or something like that. So I'm trying to right, and that's the correct route. So you know they will ship eventually. I really don't want to encourage anyone to go looking for them because that's not really something we should be encouraging on this show. And personally, That's I haven't true. left my house at all since all of this happened. So personally, I encourage you, have it on order, be patient, play with your old toys. That can be fun, too. I've been doing that lately. Or, or well, today, we're playing with a new toy. I was going to say, or Piranicon, so... Yeah, you might have that. You might have it coming or something like that. And today, we're going to talk about the Turtler. He's a turtle. Or if you're American, his name's Snaptrap. But Turtler is such a funnier name. Snaptrap it's, is it's some sort of man. snapping turtle reference. Turtler sounds ridiculous in English, so it's great. They call him Turtler. Crap! He could put on a shell. He could put every he could put every accessory he has on his body in turtle mode. That's so amazing. There Turtler is the center character of the Piranicon combiner that's currently coming out of Generation Select. As he I'm. I was say, as I'm showing off on the uh, on the main camera or whatever, because that's how I have mine is in combined mode at the moment. So, because I I was trying out the combined mode because certain people, and I don't know, I guess we could just get into it. Uh, that uh, Patriot Prime on his review was saying that it was really hard to pose uh, the figure like in right. a combined mode, and. I put it all together and it was fine for me, but of course, I mean, it's a combiner wars figure. Um, but, um, I guess Rob, I guess you were saying you were having issues with it too. Yeah. I mean, he's doing good now, but you got to kind of do like the, the studio ox crotch, you know, where it's kind of, he's got the pelvic thrust going on a little bit and you got to kind of like angle the knees in a little bit and it's just kind of it all together. Then it's okay. And I, I find it helps if you like duck feed it a bit. You know, twist the hips out because they they spin at the at the hip anyways. So you can kind of you know turn the legs out and then it does okay. Otherwise, it like leans forward too much. Um, so yeah, it took some finagling, but now it seems all right. I've been picking it up and down, and it's been setting back down fine. That's good. So yeah, eventually we'll get around to talking about the combiner on this show. But tonight we're going to talk about an awful turtle mode, a cool bot mode, and really <laughs> cool modes that you can make otherwise. So please start us off by talking about this turtle you're holding. Well, first off, it's not an awful turtle. Mode. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love it so much. He's got all his crap on him, so I'm going to take his crap off. I do want to talk about these feet later, though. Feet are pretty cool. Big old cannon. So this is him with just the shield on, because that's part of his shell, so I'm going to leave that on. And the sword, because it goes beneath him. That's great. And he's got a cute little opening mouth. Look at him. You can close the jaw. Snap. Boom. Snapping like a trap. Uh, other than that, he, he's he got some limited articulation here. He's got rotating on ball joints, turtle feet, I guess they are. 
and then kind of your know, normal joints for the back legs. Nothing, nothing spectacular. He does have a surprise in his butt. It's his face. Thank you. <laughs> and these cannons here, we I just learned before the show actually do expand and collapse. So these this is the expand mode, and then. Boom, snap again. You got to push and pull the hell out of it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. It's a lot of force. I didn't realize he had yeah. to, yeah. Yeah, I like him quite a lot. He's got all the bright colors he needs. He's, you know, beautiful and garish and 1988 neon. and Definitely garish. Yeah, and that's this turtle mode. Um, I I only own the um, I only own the G1 version for like a week once. It's pretty accurate to the G1 look, right? The turtle mode. Yeah. As far as such things like. go. Pretty close. Yeah. 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 They're kind of a flat thing with a kind of little bump on the back. Yeah, I can show you in a couple seconds here. Oh, yeah, because you're a Pranacon collector, so you probably have them just laying around. Well, I had gotten uh, actually the club version out for tonight's show. The Transformers Club did one that was supposed to be like an Energon release or something. Was that right? It's supposed to be like that's right. And, and it got canceled. Yeah, it got canceled, and then the club said, "Hey, we'll do it as and it's a club exclusive." And they did, and I just about got it done. Got it. Perfect. I was around for that. It was great. And here he is. So there's the G1. Yeah. There's so proportionally, the new one, the new Snap Trap, is longer. Longer. And it has a lot smaller legs. It's narrower. Legs. Yeah, it's smaller legs. Longer, smaller do the legs. legs do the legs have less the articulation than the G1, or is it similar? In turtle oh, it's mode. Got, it's got more. Because it has twists. Like, there's... I mean, this has yeah. ratchets at the, like, you know, the hips or whatever, and uh-huh. at the back knee. But the front doesn't really have anything, because that's his arm. And, and the fist auto-rotates up. It's not really... Anything you can do with it. Mm-hmm. And his head moves up and down technically, but that's really just, again, for transformation to pop his robot head out. Right. Uh, but he does have a jaw, you know. Mm-hmm. But so it's... The new one has more. But, you know, generally comparable, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. You're not really going to get, like, more poses out of one or the other. So it looks like he gets some movement in his legs, um, which I could do that. I could check mine, but I don't feel like transforming him again. His mouth opens and closes, and it's detailed on the inside. It has nice teeth. Um, and you can basically, like, whatever you think the shell is supposed to look like, you can do it. You know, you can pile the gums on there. You can pile these foot pieces on it. You can basically just put as much stuff on his back as you want to. Basically, also kind of Gamera mode. He can see. You're not supposed to do things like that because you're making fun of me for my awesome mode. We weren't yeah. making awesome fun mode. of you. We were enjoying your creativity. Complimenting my amazing style. I understand. Not everyone can be me. So, oh, on the subject overall, of turtles, do you guys like the turtle mode? I want to know because I don't. Christian does. So what about Lucas and Rob? Sure, it's fine. <laughs> it's a turtle mode. It exists. I mean, it. I mean, I think I probably like the G one more, and I like looks better. And the Transformers Club one is a massive big, or not? Not Transformers. Sorry, uh, the TFCs. Yeah. Um, is just a huge honking big boy as well. You know, here's next to G1, and yeah, you know, here it is with the new one that came out. You know, and like it's, I don't know, this is a much more scary looking turtle coming at you, definitely, um, compared to the new one we got. Um, but the new one, it's not bad by any means. I don't think. Um, I think it's his least interesting form, though. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that. So the thing is, with like with these guys, with the Seacons, I don't think they actually, they don't really need to look like the actual animals they are, because they didn't. You know, the robotic versions of the animals, the robotic yeah. sea monstrosities. So like, I don't really care that the turtle mode doesn't really look like a turtle and just kind of looks like some sort of weird walking tank thing with a turtle head. But I just, I don't know, aesthetically it doesn't please me. Um, just because it's, I don't know, it somehow looks worse than the G1 version. But, I mean, 
It transforms. I, that's good enough. I mean, I would agree with you. Like, I don't, being, you know, again, a big Piranicon fan, I don't, it's, it's a, it looks like a, it's a big, scary-ass, turtle-ish thing coming at you. And I think of the various versions I have, this one probably does that the least. Just, and I think a lot of it just has to do with his dinky little turtle legs. You know, it doesn't look like he's clomping at you or whatever. He's just like, eh. You know, <laughs> he, he totally skipped all four leg days. So, Aww. And the back legs are kind of, like, extended out a little bit where they probably shouldn't be. And Yeah, yeah but, I mean, that's... I mean, I ain't hating it. It's just, it's just, eh. If, uh, if you're going to say... Reason. Um, okay, so uh, of all the torsos, right, like, would you say, what is it, uh, Hunger or whatever, like, would you say his mode was better? Am I getting the right one? Yeah, definitely. It, from like, Abominus? From Abominus, yeah. Like, would you say, would you say that his beast mode was better, uh, the Combiner yeah, Wars one? 100%. Or whatever, Power of the Primes. Because I, I, cause I kind of think this remember. one pulls this mode off better than that one. Like, I don't know. No, I, like I wasn't all that, that impressed one. by that okay. one. Okay. I like it better. I still wasn't. It didn't. Okay, that wasn't as fun as my, like, seven year old brain or however how old I was thought the G1 one was. Because I thought the G1 one was amazing. We just look at the articulation of that thing compared to other Transformers. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was, like, super impressive. So there was a little bit of nostalgia disappointment when I got that figure. But I still think that it was a better... It was an alt mode that I wouldn't put on the shelf and giggle at. This is an alt mode that I would put on the shelf and giggle at. I'd look at it and be like, that's nothing. Well, see, so, it's bringing you joy. It sparks joy. So it's just funny. admitted it. There's so do you have nostalgia I, disappointment for, like, all your favorite figures? Because you didn't like the reflector like, either. Yeah, I have Reflector's so good. I know, right? Like, I thought Reflector was great, but Anna doesn't like that, uh, the Hasbro Reflector. Oh, it's those shoulders. Those shoulders are poop. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. those shoulders. This guy has good shoulders. So, anything else you want to say about the turtle mode before we start talking about the robot mode? Nope, I already converted him. Alright, great. Robot mode it is. So the robot mode, I was, I've been very nervous about this purchase ever since I made it because I did not intend to buy the six um, C-Cons at all. I had no interest in buying them. But then when I found out that Turtler had ankle tilt, I was like, I guess I can get Turtler because he has ankle tilt, so I won't hate him entirely. And... It worked out. Like, I was really nervous I would get this thing, and i put it in robot mode, I'd be like, ooh, this is a terrible-looking torso guy. Now I wish I had limbs for it, because I'm not buying the limbs. But no, 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 no. I think this is actually, in this mode, it's actually pretty darn decent. Like, it comes off as a good-looking robot guy that looks different enough than other robot guys that he actually is kind of a unique figure for yourself. See... I actually do not really like, and I'm struggling trying to get this to actually pose on camera and show the head off and whatnot, like, and so that it looks decent. But um, I, I am not a fan of the robot mode. Uh, like, I just like to me, it just looks wonky. Like, I think the proportions look wonky. Um, I, I'm having trouble like with the ball jointed ankles. Um, so I, I would actually say that this might be my least favorite mode and it really doesn't matter to me because after I get all six, it's, it's only going to be living in combined mode. So I, you know, I, I guess I don't really care that much, but I, I'm just not a huge fan of, of this mode. I love this mode. I like it a lot. I like it a whole lot. It has pink plastic and pink paint. I mean, I, I like the, I like that. that. But... The, the color sculpt on it is incredible. My light's really bad to let you see it, but it's very good head sculpt. Uh, that's okay. It looks like it should. Whoops, what did he run into? It looks it? No, sort out. fierce. I, don't know, I think he's very tall. He seems taller than the other torso bots to me. Maybe it's just because my Combiner Wars dudes have been in storage for a little bit, and I'm not as familiar with them right now. 
But he looks tall. He looks bulky, but not like covered in junk. I mean, even when he's got the shield on his arm, it looks like a shield. It doesn't look like he's just covered in you know crap. It's not a bad shield. Like as far as shields for arms go, it's not bad. Not bad. This sword is pretty great. I like it a lot. The sword is cool. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's very cool. I am sad that it's not big, but because it, it looks great with Snap Trap, but it's going to look teeny tiny for Piranicon. Unlike really the Blaster, which is huge for Snap Trap, yep. it's going to look pretty good for Piranicon, I think. Yep. Serious so, about the, the shield. He's not. He's yeah. nice. He, he cleans up well too. He doesn't have a whole bunch of extra kibble. He's got the uh, the turtle claws hanging on the back of his arms. Otherwise. I mean, the, the chest, I guess, is all, all turtle kibble, too, but it forms a really yeah. cohesive chest plate. There's places for everything to peg in. Uh, he's got the cannons, which move from the legs to the back. I guess that's kibbly, but it looks good. It's part of the profile. So, yeah, I, I think he cleans up rather nicely. The sword, to me, is a good illustration of what how much better an accessory can look with two colors instead of one. Yes. Because it is just yeah. like, it's just the blade is not the same color as the hilt. And that makes all the difference compared to this gun that is just a solid black chunk. If it's had a little silver paint on it, I think it would look a lot cooler, but it doesn't. It's very I just dull. think it's a good testament. Yeah, it's very dull. Well, I think that the paint on it looks really good too. So if if you just did the sword, if the sword was like a gray plastic, like it, it wouldn't <laughs> look great either. So I think that the fact that it's you know in this like you know metallic pinkish paint I think you know really makes it too so I, I do have one issue with this mode and I wish I'd pulled out hunger or silver bolt to show you guys but on those molds you had pieces little covers that covered up these gaps that are for the combined mode and snap trap for some reason didn't include those with all the remolding they did they didn't include those pieces so it's just got gaps in his knees for the combiner ports and that That's- looks really bad to me I, I hate everything about the knees on this thing. <laughs> you know, both the, the gap that they didn't cover up, as well as the fact that this mold, like the base mold, is kind of notorious for having kind of crappy knees that don't peg in. And they still don't peg in. They don't they don't snap in. They don't hold in place. It's just friction holding it in there. And it's on, it's technically a double joint, which is, like, nice, but there's nothing to keep it in there. And so it always wants to bend at the wrong joint or whatever. It it just really feels like they, whoops, we forgot a step. And he's he's got these, do these tabs do something in another mode? I can't remember. They're for combined mode. They are? Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I just gave up at that point. Like, good enough. I don't know. I, you know, I kind of feel like, in, in general, I'm almost ready for them to redo the, all the combiners again. And, like, come up with new molds that are, like, are better. Because, I mean, you can see some improvements here and whatever. But, I mean, ultimately, you know, this, you know, this base mold is how many years old now? I mean, what, five years old? So, it's, like, it'd be kind of nice if they could actually, you know, get some updated engineering. uh, Just so that that way everything's more solid and it has more articulation in combined mode and all that. No, you're right about that, because this is the, uh, if we haven't mentioned it, it was, it's off the hunger mode, which is off the silver boat mold, mode, mold, blah, which has been, you know, the representative of good torso since the beginning of Combiner Wars. Yeah, and then you're happy when your favorite combiner uses that one, because that means the combined mode is actually going to look good. But then, at the same time, you're stuck with the same modular version for the um, robot mode on your torso guy. However, I think he overcomes it. I think this is probably my favorite use of the Silverbolt body in robot mode. Not in vehicle mode, because our turtle, because I don't like the turtle mode. But I think in robot mode, I like him better than Silverbolt. I like him better than Hunger. I really like what they did with the chest for robot mode here, how they just, you know, they took all these new bits, the kibble, and I think it makes a nice looking chest. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I agree with you there. Yeah. The only thing that's tough is, is I know Randall mentioned in the chat about the fact that the head seems kind of small in proportion. Squishy, yeah. Um, so. It is very small. Like, even, 
you know, human proportions, heads on our robots are always small compared to what they should be. Like, our heads are huge. It's part of the reasons that, you know, we're intelligent life or whatever. But we're always used to our robots having tiny heads. But his is, it's not like punch, counterpunch from the club small, but it's almost that small. It is really small. I don't agree. I think it looks nice. No, I think it looks fine. I I actually, I agree that it's It's very small. But I do think that it is good looking. Like, I think that it's Transformers small. I think, like, it works well as a small head on a Transformer. This time. I often hate small heads. Here he is next to the club G1 guy. And obviously he's leaps and bounds better. As you would expect, you know, it's taller. And this robot mode's always been kind of doofy just because he's got this big backpack thing on him. So, you know, it's a definite upgrade there. The only thing I wish... I mean, I, don't, I shouldn't say I wish, but, you know, it doesn't have the fun action gimmick of the G1 where the guns rock <laughs> back and forth. But <laughs> who cares, you know? And so, talk about your favorite addition to this robot mode. Uh, one thing that made you get it. Angles? Yep. Yeah, I mean, it has... So it has angles. It has, you know, functional angle tilt provided by the foot being on a ball joint on a little peggy thingy. Um, It has full flexibility in the ankles. I think that that can be, that was the thing that persuaded me to get it. And one of the things I hear people complain about the most with this figure is how little his feet are and how his feet are. Because you can look at it. These guys... You know, Rob and Lucas have both kind of mentioned that he's not the easiest thing to get to stand. I don't have much trouble getting him to stand, but I also, like, probably have a much lower threshold just because I'm always putting things in crazy poses. So I'm used to having to try to get them to balance just right. I mean, I think balance. I was just having trouble here when try on, on camera, and in order for it to show up where it looks decent, like, I have to kind of make it push forward a little bit, so... Yeah. So yeah, I think the feet work. They let him pose more. They're like slightly limited ankle tilt, but not not too limited, right? They're fine. They do a good job. You know, he has more ankle tilt than like um, Siege Starscream did or something like that. So it works well. They're just he ends up with very small flat feet that don't have much to them. Yeah. And uh, Rodimus was asking us over in Discord about he says ball jointed ankles. And I thought I'd elaborate a little bit on what Anna was talking about. So underneath it, it rotates. like It looks like a ratchet joint, but it's not. Um, but it's a rotated piece. But you see that peg there? That's coming out of it. It's a solid piece of plastic, and it's ball-jointed at the end from the underside. And, it's, uh, and that's what gives you a tilt. And I'm not going to say they've never done that in Transformers before, but it's definitely not common to have a, yeah, that's a peg that a comes down yeah. ball joints underneath. And I think for a... Uh, I think it works fine. I, I don't have any issues getting this version to stand. I was having trouble with the combined mode. It took me a bit to figure out. but Yeah, I'm curious how that's okay. going to hold up over time, too. you have to let us know, Anna, here in, like, a couple months, like, how your, how your figures hold up. How the everything to up. I will say that the, um, the, this arm is already wibbly-wobbly. Yeah. Even though I have the lighter weapon in it. So... That does not bode well. I had um, all the the rest of the swords pegged onto this at first when I put it on there, and uh, it reminded me of Sin City. It's like, you can't even hold that cannon. (laughs) 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 Yeah. Um, Combined mode, there's even worse problems in that regards, but we'll get there in like four weeks or something. (laughs) It'll be a minute, yeah. But I want to say that like, before I get to user comments, um, I do want to say that, like, on this one, the back can actually be pretty good. Like, the kind of default back where he just has the two guns, it looks fine. You can also switch things around to where he wears the shell on his back, so he ends up with, like, a complete covered back. You can put the guns on his legs then if you want to, have them face up or face forward. There's a lot of just, like, modular playing around you can do with this guy. I know that for some of you, you hear that and you're like, oh, that's not the official Play way with your toys. To look. Can't do that. Play. But that makes him a good figure. <laughs> right? Can't play with this. That's not what it's for. It's for putting on the shelf in the boring default mode. Actually, no. that's not the instructions way. 
<laughs> this is one time I didn't even open the instructions. I left them in the box because I knew I wanted to play with this. Because I knew it had so many parts I could take off and stick in the wrong place. I was excited. Welcome to the dark side. Instructions suck. They take the fun out. You have to break your toy in the attempt to enjoy it. See, he can wear a shell on his back, and then no more back gap, no more holes. Decent looking back. And he's more turtle-like then. And then you have little dumb butt weeds, too, if you want to exhibit those. Yeah. That's what I really like about this figure, though. Like, that's what put me over the edge. Like, there was a there was a moment where I was like, oh, for the price I paid for it, this is a... Ugh. How much this was this one? I can't remember. A 60. Was it 60? Okay. So, yeah, if you put... Too loud. If you plug the shell on, and then you put the guns on the back, I mean, it's not the same pieces that form the G1, but it gives it kind of a little more G1-ish look of having that big... So- solid piece on the back and then you know the cannons it helps space the cannons out a little more because the cannons and the default pegs on the back are quite a bit closer together and this I prefer it like this and I think this shield doesn't look great to begin with so not that he'll spend much time in this mode but right. you'd have him have the guns on his legs and then they play forward and he can battle with his legs knee attack I don't know right. if... he has like but I, I mean, I don't know I, if any of y'all. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all read the uh, the manga that this comes with. You know, that's released online. TFW put up a translation of it or whatever, and people shooting guns from their knees is very much in the spirit of that because that comic is beyond stupid. In it, Star Convoy transforms into base mode and shoots all his guns at Super Galvatron, and you know, spoiler alert, uh, they kill off Piranacon. And God Neptune. And so people are like, oh, he's totally going to do a God Neptune. He's in the comics. Like, he's already dead. You, you know, like, right? does it doesn't mean they will or won't. I'm just saying I don't think that's a good argument for it. Um, and there's a Kiss Players Megatron reference in there. Calling it. So. I think it's a reference, too. Yeah. The really gross reference. It's great. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anna. I can't understand you. You're roboting. Oh, good. That's, I was actually trying to be like um, viewer inclusive and get people involved. I turned into a machine when I was trying to do the most human thing possible. Um, I was just going to say, what do you think of this idea of if we had used the Starscream slash Alita One mold as a base, it would have come out better. No, I, th- I don't think I so because that really, won't... really zany idea. Now, like watching your reactions, it's fun. Number one, that mold was trash. Um, so, <laughs> so that's the first thing. And then um, I, I absolutely hate that figure so much. Like, I, Alita is better than Starscream, but I, I just I don't like. No, I, I this is much better. It gets the character a lot better. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure, like, exactly where he's going with the idea, but I think, like, one good thing that would come of that is it would require much, much more remolding, so yeah. it might get us closer to a new figure. <laughs> well, and the, the wide way it transforms to jet mode might give a better wide turtle instead of a long turtle, maybe. That's true. That's true. In theory. I don't think it would be hard to get a better turtle mode. So I think we could probably get a better turtle mode out of that. I think that's I think it's the only better mode you would get. Yeah, but probably because com- I really love this robot mode. The combined mode I think is better. really is really good though. Like I mean I obviously like the Superion is probably the best combiner torso, um, you know, overall. And I think that like this looks really good. It, it looks like Piranicon to me. So Yeah. I think my problem is I just, I want there to be another good torso. Like, I, I want there to be a second good torso. I mean, there's only three, right? It's Silverbolt, Computron. Optimus Prime. Oh, the different oh. ones, okay. Yeah, Silverbolt, Hotspot. Optimus Prime, and uh, who was the other one? Hot- Hotspot. Hotspot Silverbolt, didn't it? No. No. Okay. Okay, I thought they were like heavily remolded or no. something. No, on, on uh, slide. Skylinks, like Anna said. Skylinks, Skylinks is built oh, off of Superion, isn't he? Nope, Skylinks is new. Is he different? 
Yeah. I don't know. It's it's been a while. I didn't even know that. I mean, it yeah, feels so. it feels similar, but yeah, I guess you're right. It is kind of a different mold. Here's both of their uh, half turtle modes. Angry boys. Yeah, half turtle mode. That's where it's at. <laughs> Which Hunger is, funny, is like, a new mold, but it does share engineering. Yeah, got it. <laughs> it, it. They really blur the lines these days between what's a remold it's, and what shares engineering. It's hard to it's tell. True. It's closer than it's ever been, but yeah, there, yeah there's no mode. same parts between Silverbolt and Hunger. Right, that is true. Like Scatter Shot, it's definitely a remold of Silverbolt, but Hunger is not. Yeah. Is it even a remold? <laughs> I know it is. I know it is. Okay. Uh, but, like, I, I thought it was fun just that we got so many different versions of pink on this figure. I just want to say that as a compliment to it. I mean, I didn't even notice that the metals on the sword was pinkish, but it is. It's kind of a metallic pink. We've got a nice matte pink paint on the legs, pink plastic on the shoulders, and then we've got the wonderful fuchsia throughout on the rest of the figure. I had, to com I had to compare it with another silver painted thing to actually see that, yeah, it's got that little pinkish hue in it. It does. I didn't notice cool. it until Lucas said it. He said it, and I thought he was wrong, and I was just going to be <laughs> polite and just keep quiet about it. You know? That's definitely, definitely no, pinkish. No. I wrote it all. You know, what, you know what's going to be awesome. It's so good. You know what's going to be really frustrating, though, is, is when uh, RC is released in Earthrise, and it's going to be like one color of pink or whatever, and they're just going to have the white face and and whatnot. And it's going to be like, man, if only you would have used some of those like pinks they used in this thing. Yeah, I know that's going to happen. I'm going to complain about it, and it's going to be on the show. Yeah, get ready. <laughs> Do we talk about the feet, the combiner feet, since we're it's part of this figure? Yeah. In combiner mode, it looks like this, and then if you want to store it. These guns flip up and into the side, and they're like guns. They're obviously still feet. You know, that, that's still there. It's always going to be there. And at the back, they're basically Power of the Prime's feet. But I think adding this to make one wider feet so it's more stable, and then to make it kind of like an actual weapon mode is a really great step in the right direction. I mean, I think that continues the trend of this set of the feet and the hands are a gajillion times better Right. Than all the previous ones, which were complete garbage, and they were the worst. I mean, that, that's the thing that frustrates me, though, is and of course, again, it's been however many years, right? Um, you know that they've been able to work on these things, but like, it would have been nice. Can you imagine? Like, we wouldn't have to spend thirty bucks a pop extra on the perfect effect kits. If these would have just been what they originally shipped with, you know, because like I, I think again, like the ankles, like they have a little ratcheted ankles or whatever, it gives you some, uh, you know, ankle uh, tilt or whatnot. So, which is a whole no, different part of the primes. Feet. Those had those too. These are better yeah, than part right. of the primes. Yeah, right. These are better, absolutely. Yeah. The That's only thing I, cool you know, when they are in feet mode. The one thing I don't like is that they don't rock forward and backward any. You know, they only got the side to side. And that is part of the problem he has standing up. Is you know, again, you got to do the kind of the pelvic thrust thing. Um, and because of that, like you're trying to tilt it forward and backwards. And mine actually does, but like not because it's meant to, just because of, you know, it's plastic held in with friction nubs. And so it's just not the most stable of foot because of that one. You know, they. Probably should have put like universals or something in there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not there's definitely room for someone like Perfect Effect to come in and make better feet and probably better hands ultimately for this. And I wouldn't say no to them. But if if that never happened, these would be okay <laughs> too. How did the ankles is, is go that parade mode? And back? Anna? He's on this his is stilts. the best mode possible because he has a turtle head and monster leg feet. Beautiful. This is how he's going back on my shelf. This is how he was on my shelf. This is how he's going back. He is the ultimate Decepticon stilt master. I can't wait till your dog brushes against your shelf and he comes tumbling over. He's actually not unstable at all like this. Really? No. Like, these peg really well into the guns the feet do. It's like this was intended. 
<laughs> this is definitely not intended. If anyone's an audio <laughs> viewer, I have his guns pegged into his legs, and then I have the feet pegged into the guns to give him like weird long stilt legs. I switched out his robot head for his turtle head and made his um, feet into an alternate chest. Yeah, I definitely destroyed this thing and made it weird, but um, definitely not intended. But it's fun. That, that does stand well. 100% intended. It's confirmed. <laughs> Stilt mode. It stands That's... super well. It stands way better than his regular mode. Uh, so, like, if we look at, you know, again, the G1 mold, no stilt mode, 0 out of 10. It's crap. <laughs> Hey, Rob, you know what? This does have front hey, okay. It does have front and back. Look, because you can see in here, there's like little ratchets, and you can ratchet that forward. I thought that was just it being loose in there. Uh-uh. That's, no, that's, that ratchet is for side to side, bruh. No, there's one yes. for front and back. Push it front and back, dude. I'm telling like, I thought you, that was it being loose. I'm telling you, dude, it's not. Yeah, you just have to push it. Oh, yeah, it does rotate there. You're right. It, does, wow. it, it, it rotates because there's, oh, that hole, there's that ratchets in there. But it doesn't do yeah. anything. It barely moves. Look. That ratchet is for side to side, though. No, look. Wait, look wait. two to the front. Oh, my there's God. Two. There it goes. Look at yeah. that. You have to push the crap out of yeah, it. You have to push, yeah, you have to push it really hard. Yeah, so, I would push it while it's in still. Well, look at that. All right, though. All right, yeah. well, Ron, I appreciate you uh, saying something in the chat because I, I was sitting there going, I was like, you know, like, I think Ron's right. So, Thank you, Ron. Yeah. Like, see, I thought wow, that was all a complete pe uh, molded yeah, piece in there. Yeah, I thought so, too. I thought so, too. Excellent. Well, I wonder how it will stand now if you, like, ratchet that in or out or if it just, you know, helps the pelvic thrust. I, I mean, the thing is, those ratchets seem pretty big, though, you know, like, to each position. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think it's really going to help. <laughs> it, it's a tight ratchet, though. Like, if it, if you need it to hold in that position for combined mode, it's going to stay It'll in that position. <laughs> that is so funny, like, how hard you have to push on that. Ugh. Yeah, I'm worried about breaking that piece, actually, how hard yeah. you got to do it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, almost like the guns. You're like, oh, wait, these slide out? It's like, yeah, when you yeah. pull on it, like, you're mad yeah, at it. Someone would have to tell you that it had to, that it could do that. Yeah. It's definitely not obvious. All right, here's the ultimate, put that in there. Oh, the ultimate challenge, Anna. Can you get him to stand on his gun tips without the feet? Probably. From the true stilt master. I probably could. <laughs> I'd imagine. I don't have a good table space right now. I had too many things going on. I'll test it later. <laughs> but I want to say that to me, like, we've had a lot of complaints recently about the fact that our leader class figures are recently smaller than he is and come with some sort of accessory that sometimes people don't want and sometimes people do want. I think that this being leader class price, because it's a little more than leader class price, because it's imported. Um, honestly, like I like the way this is a Voyager sized thing with fun accessories that I can play with. This is more fun. And this I'm is super a, happy with it. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a better buy than uh, Astro Train. Yeah, uh, for sure. Oh, no, and, and Astro Train is great. But Astro Train, this is way better than Astro Train. But this is also a quite a bit different too because like here yeah he's got a bunch of you know bullshit parts thrown in but that's because it's part of the homage you know with right. astro train and shockwave is like we didn't no one needed this for the nostalgic nostalgia feels for piranacon yeah you need them you need the big turtle shell you know piece right. you need the extra guns you need big honking feet you know you need these items to be the combiner as opposed to just eh, we wanted it at this price point so we're gonna make it there that's true. I'm so sorry. I didn't have his mouth open, so he wasn't properly monstrous. Thanks, better. <laughs> I'm just representing the amazingness. <laughs> so what do you think? Get him? Not get him? Well, if you can. If you can, yes. So personally, as someone who didn't actually want the combiner, so I don't actually want a bunch of repaint remolds of the other guys, I honestly think he's a fine standalone purchase which is bizarre because I did not expect him to be saying it. I sincerely expected 
on the show, I would be saying, eh, this thing's crap. I'm going to sell it. Have a fun time. No, no, no. I think it's awesome. I think everybody should get it and play with it and make it into a weird monster. Others? I think definitely get him. He's a bit pricey, but we kind of talked about how he's worth that priciness. Plus, the combiner is going to be great. That's why I got him. But as a standalone figure, I like him too. Um, I think that his uh, combiner mode is the best mode. So I think if you wanted to get something that kind of looks like see the, you know, Pranicon, and then you throw four other figures on it, and and you know, kind of have like a, um, you know, because you don't want to go in for, I don't know, what's the total set? Two hundred something dollars. Two thirty. Two, yeah, if you don't want to go two thirty for the whole set, you can get this and kind of get the look, and then throw some other, you know, guys on as, as limbs if you want. Um, however, I mean, I think on the for the individual modes, like I like the other figures indiv- individual modes better than this one. Like I'm just not a fan of of the individual modes on this one. Whereas I do, like I've I've messed with the other ones so far, and I like those be- those better. So. No, I am. Um, I mean, to me, it was all about the set, so it was never really, right. you know, a choice. Like, I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around someone buying just this one, even though that person is sitting virtually in front of me. You, you know, uh, like that just breaks my brain in the Transformer world. <laughs> um, what? But he's fun. This is a fun yeah. thing. Yeah. See, uh, Anna, Anna likes like, to be different. Like, it's like if you want to check out last night's DL Floppy, you can uh, <laughs> have her debate with Rick on, you know, the one per character versus a hundred per character. <laughs> um, but no, it's cool. I love the colors. They, they just, it's a really bright color set. Like, here it is compared again to a, you know, TFC Snap Trap, where the colors are much more muted on this guy, which. I mean, you know, I get what they were going for. They're looking for, like, a bigger, more intimidating, so they kind of darken the colors a bit, which I like that, too, but I definitely prefer, like, give me bright colors. I'm all yeah. about it. I, I really enjoy bright-colored figures. Bright so, colors yeah. are good. Yeah, and so, you know, that I did a bunch of remolding on to make it feel like, you know, half of a new figure, which is probably about right. Um, so, you know, it's it's something different. It's not just Silver Bolt again. You know, yeah, there's a That's lot of similarities, sure. but it's not like, oh, it's just Silver Bolt. And he's silly. He's got some goofy modes. Yeah, I definitely dig it. I'm very happy overall. I, another thing that you can do, just so you know, you can take off these. You can take off the pink toe parts from the feet, and then they have a peg in the back, so you can put those other places. So I bet if you found a guy who had like holes in his wrist, you could give him big pink claws. That would be fun. So oh, there you go. This guy is fun for modular nonsense. Wow. Yeah, see? Perfect. That is the inspiration. But I I think that that's one thing uh, that they've really done a great job of recently with all the mainline is the fact that it has so many 5mm ports and they put them all over them that you can just, like, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, if you can think it up... (laughs) You know, you can you can do it. So, like, I'm sure you could make some kind of weird combiner in out of that, ger, you know, Gerwalk mode, and don't even have to actually get him into combine mode. Yeah, the toe claws appear to fit in his hands, which is great. It's perfect. <laughs> there you go. I just think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this thing for some time. Honestly, just messing around with it. Just like I do the, um, what do you call them, the weaponizers and the modulators or whatever they are. That, that is exactly what they are. Good job. Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. But yeah, and, I mean, I think for, for me in general, like, I like to pay just a little bit more for a nicer figure, but this not quite, like, that $100 price point that, you know, you have to pay for third-party stuff. Um, so it's it's nice to get something that's 50 60 bucks comparatively and and it's fun to to flip back and forth yeah from what i've seen so far i would absolutely support this kind of remolding a combiner again it's like if they wanted to make a, another attempt at lyo kaiser this way or you know a, a weird road caesar they could probably make happen somehow 
Uh, I'm, I'm all for that. I mean, what about Monstructor yeah, or Dino King? Both, yes. Yeah. Too. yeah. You know, like... Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> go ahead. It's just that they're adding so many pieces and changing so many parts that it doesn't feel like it's the same toy over and over again. Like, you know, a lot of people had that problem with Combiner Wars. I didn't. I, I was fine with it. But a lot of people got that mold fatigue. This doesn't feel like this feels brand new. Plus, it's, there's you know a, a year and a half gap between this and the last combiner, so this this feels right. And like Lucas said, that paying that extra premium, not so much premium that it's you know third party level, but this this level feels right for something that is this good. I agree. So keep doing it. I feel weird agreeing, but I agree. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. It's like the the combiner teams. Like I just really like those. Whereas, like, the ones that are just random stuff, like Starscream or, you know, whatever, Optimus Prime and all that, you're like, uh, you're like uh, those don't really need to combine. So. Oh, yeah, Road Caesar. There we go. That's another good one, too. Like I said, I can help decide that Road Caesar. I know exactly how to do it. You start with God Bomber and two Lilith, and you're done. Perfect. Yeah. Jay, uh, Jay Jeffrey is saying that he's upset at us that we are making him want this. So, <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, you know, I know you three know, um, but you know, like I'm, I don't buy a lot of mainline stuff. You know, over the past few years, like I still buy some, but you know, it's definitely less and less. But you know, putting that premium on the mainline figures, you know, with a little, you know, more paint, more accessories, like the right accessories and a little bit more attention to detail is a way to get me to buy more of the mainline stuff. You know, that's why I don't buy much of it. Um, so no, I'm, I'm glad to see it when it happens. And like, you know, stuff like ultra Megatron that's coming out or super Megatron or it's yeah. both. I'm not sure, you know, like no one else is doing that. Like that's, that's super cool. You, you know, like I think it's going to be a once in a lifetime type of figure and let's just thrust it into the mainstream. And then we get like 800 of them. You, you never know how that stuff will go, but um no, I'm I'm very happy overall with what they've done with the set. Even just uh, I'm I'm curious to see what comes next from the selects line. It's Me cool too. stuff. Yep. Um. So Rob, tomorrow night are we having Ouch My Wallet? I'm down if I can find other people that are down. I know Paul said he want he was in. I I can be in if uh if you need me if you need to find someone. I got some stuff. So. All right, cool. My new purchases are on camera right now. <laughs> well, I mean, that's at least three of us. So yeah, that's enough for a show. So cool, yeah. We'll have a show tomorrow. Cool. All right, yeah. That'll be uh, tomorrow night, 8.30 uh, Central on YouTube, uh, 9.30 Eastern. So, And then uh, check out TFLP on Monday nights. Uh, we just had the fun episode uh, with Anna and Rick uh, debating about troop building. And uh, Sunday nights we have TF Talk News and then uh, Cut the Tape Fridays. And uh, I think that's it. Of course, right? Microcasters here. Well, and of course, the Microcasters uh, Tuesday. Yeah, nights. we'll be back next week talking about a different thing. I don't know which thing. No, yeah, we haven't decided yet. I um, love if, things. If you want to continue the uh, debate on this figure, other figures. Uh, join our Discord as well. So there's been a lot of good activity uh, with that. So thank you to everyone. If you join right. the Discord, I will be happy to teach you how to make this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack said an he'd image. be in for Ouch My Wallet too. So. I posted an image of a knife eye attack. So, you know, Discord's got some good stuff. I know. I saw the, the Dr. <laughs> McVinger reference and I was like, wow, that came from nowhere. That's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, quite a, an obscure reference ish. It really is. Yeah, I'm it proud really of myself. <laughs> so, so yeah, so and thank you to everyone in the chat. Um, we got uh, Jay Jeffrey, Randall, Jack, Ron. Who else did I miss? Did I miss anyone? Ooh, Jack said he's in for Ouch My Wallet too. Awesome. Yep. He doesn't get to be on the show too much. I think we got so, a full cast. There, there we go. So, Ooh. Chris has been talking to us in Discord. And and, yep. Everybody. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, Rodimus in Discord as well. So, so thank you to everyone. And um, also, if you like what we do, uh, continue or consider supporting us 
on Patreon, patreon.com slash TFYLP, tears from a dollar on up. So, all right. Well, thank you, everyone. Thanks, Rob, for joining us. And, Thanks for having me. Yep. As always. And we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.